In freediving, it's 100% physical and it's 100% mental. You cannot get to 100 metres on brute force alone and you cannot meditate or think yourself down there. You have to have both happening at the same time. My love to the water was imprinted into me since I was a kid by my mom. In the water, it's another world which is too big to be bored of. It's never enough. I love free diving for this constant self-improvement process where you learn how to relax or learn how to handle your fears. Basically, I could say that my preparation never, never stops. <laughs> Alexei Volkanov, Russia, constant weight, 130 meters, world record attempt. Really the performance that we've been waiting for Alexei Molchanov, the deepest dive that you will see at Vertical Blue is about to happen to push the sport of freediving to new heights. We descend and we're having to kind of work against our buoyancy because we have full lungs. On the way down, those lungs compress, so the volume of air becomes less. So you lose buoyancy, which means that you, after a certain point, can stop swimming and free fall. When we turn around at the bottom, you have to kind of stay relaxed and focused, not panic or anything, because of course if you panic, you consume more oxygen. When we have the lowest oxygen at the very end of the dive, that's when you have to be as present as you can in your mind. If during that time your oxygen levels fall below the threshold for consciousness, then you can black out. Absolutely spectacular. New heights for the sport of freediving. 